Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I have a fun and easy Valentine's Day dinner idea, but first I am going to get started on decorating the fireplace mantle for my youngest son's birthday. He is 11 today and I've been running around crazy all day. I had a Target order I had to pick up and I had to get some things at Walmart. I grabbed some cupcakes and juices to bring to his classroom and I just delivered them. And now I am coming home to decorate a little bit in here so I can surprise him whenever he gets home. We're going to do some birthday stuff over the weekend, but I figured I wanted it to be fun and special today because it is a Wednesday. It is super gloomy and rainy, which is why my hair is like all wet and just crazy looking, but I didn't even have time to look in the mirror before I started this, so um, I did get a few balloons and some banners and stuff, but speaking of balloons, uh, our party city closed down and now it is just so hard to get balloons where we live. Um, I think the nearest party city is an hour away and we don't have really any other place where you can go in and shop for party supplies and get balloons blown up. Um, I like to just do spur of the moment things sometimes, just go in and see what they have and have some balloons made. So I just got these balloons at Walmart that were already filled up, just random, random balloons. And um, I did get some big number balloons from Target, but um, I usually get them with helium in them um, and I like those big balloons that are like big characters. I've been getting those the past few years but again I wasn't really able to do that this year which is such a bummer. Like I was really bummed out about the balloon situation. I love balloons um, and I didn't have time to order anything. I even went to the Walmart uh, party aisle. There wasn't really much there. so. Not a lot to choose from. The number of balloons I got, you have to blow up like with a straw. So I don't know how that's gonna go because I hate blowing up balloons. It just like makes me lightheaded. And those helium tanks are like $50. And I don't think they blow up these Mylar balloons very well. And it would probably take the whole $50 tank to blow up the two balloons. So I don't know. I just thought I will do just a little bit, you know, just kind of decorate it up, put them some presents and stuff here, and then we'll um, like go out to the arcade and stuff this weekend with some friends, so that'll be fun. Also, he asked me to make lasagna for his birthday tonight. That is his favorite meal, so I thought it would be great uh, to kind of like use that as a Valentine's Day dinner idea because I think it is a great idea to make on Valentine's Day, especially if you're having Valentine's Day with your family and you just want to make something special. And I also found a really easy looking trifle dessert recipe, so I'm excited to be making that. I think that's a perfect idea if you want to make something special but you don't want to put in like a ton of time and work. I'm all about like super easy recipes that you can put together. I love desserts and stuff but I just don't have the time and the patience to make all these like intricate like pie crust designs and stuff like that. So I stick to the really easy, simple things. So I think this will be a great one. But first I'm gonna get started on this decorating this mantle. This is the stuff I got from Target Pickup. Got a birthday banner. I got everything gold. They didn't have really any other colors to choose from. So I got gold balloons. Um, and I guess I have to blow up and these gold banners yes gold balloons on a gold banner i'm thinking is that even gonna, like are you gonna see that but i did get um do that for my husband's birthday one year i had gold balloons and a gold banner and i went back and looked at the photos and i was like oh that looks good so they only had they only had gold and they didn't have silver so it is what it is we'll see how it turns out Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you're a good guy, make me believe it Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it See how, rewind, when we rewind Feels so nice, we time 
I'm going to set a few gifts out for him. Um, we're getting him some money and a Steam gift card and stuff. You know, they always want things that you can't even see. But um, we were at Home Goods the other day, and my husband saw this, and he was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And Avery loves dinosaurs. So we thought this was like a really cool thing that he could display in his bedroom. So um, I got that and this cute bag. I wonder where I got this bag. I may have got this at um, Home Goods as well. So I was like, oh my gosh, a dinosaur bag. Let me grab it. That's really cute. It's got dinosaurs on the inside. So I'm gonna bag this up, get his cards and stuff ready. And yeah, this is how it turned out. I mean, it's not like anything extravagant, but I think it'll be fun because as soon as he walks in the front door, that's what he'll see. I think I could probably scoot those letters closer together and kind of like make the banner not arch so much, but I think it'll be fine. But that is it for this. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up. I still have to put my groceries away and then I will get started on the Valentine dinner. <laughs> Okay, here are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using for the lasagna. I've got ground beef, and the reason I have two is because I think I'm going to make two lasagnas since I can't have cheese. I'm going to make a cheeseless one. Um, so I, I've got two things of ground beef. You can also, um, we have our meat butchered, which is why the packaging looks like this, but you can also um, use Italian sausage and ground beef mixed or the both but we've always used ground beef that's just what the kids like so that's what I use I always make my sauce with tomato paste and I've got some Parmesan cheese here I don't ever usually use this but I happen to have some in the fridge so I'll go ahead and like sprinkle that on with the um, mozzarella cheese and then I've got the lasagna noodles that I'm going to boil and I, they have the no-bake kind. I don't like those. I think I used them once and I didn't like how it turned out. Um, a, lot, oh, a lot of lasagnas will use ricotta cheese. We always use the small curd cottage cheese. And then I've just got some seasonings. You could put um, green pepper and onion in the lasagna, which I think would be amazing. But like I said, I use the same recipe that my mom always made and I have always been making for 20 years. So... It actually doesn't even have the green pepper and onion in it. So that's just how I keep it. I don't want to change it. Nobody likes change of their favorite recipes. I am going to put some like onion powder in there. And then I use lots of Italian seasoning, basil. Um, oh, do you say basil or basil? I don't know why my thing's not focusing. Um, I watch this woman who is... I watch this woman who is redoing a French chateau and she i think she's from canada and she um bought a chateau in france and she says basil so i like the way that sounds <laughs> oh my god i'm silly but uh and then i got mozzarella cheese and i mean you could put whatever cheeses that you like in here but we are just going to use the mozzarella very simple um some garlic some parsley and stuff we're just going to get it all put together and then i will start on the trifle This is my favorite utensil for breaking up the ground beef. I'm sure you can get them pretty much anywhere. This one is from Pampered Chef and I love it because it's pink, but I absolutely love this and I have to have it for my meat. Okay, my husband got me this little thing, so you're going to see this in the video and wonder what it is, but my husband got this for me and I thought it would be good for when I'm doing cooking videos, um, particularly reels shorts tiktoks um so that i can get like some close-up shots uh i'm gonna try it out i don't have like any lighting or anything set up but i'm gonna see if i can take a few shots with it so you'll see um this in the video as well but i've got the beef all brown and ready and i'm gonna drain it and start mixing up the sauce Okay. 
Okay, whenever I'm just making a regular lasagna, but and by regular, I mean one lasagna because I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm making a cheeseless lasagna. So it's gonna be like two lasagnas. Um, so I usually use about four of the small cans of tomato paste, four or five, I mean, I would go five. But I've been doing this so long, I just kind of wing it. So I'm going to be making two lasagnas. So I've got I've got seven six ounce cans of tomato paste and I'm just gonna probably use all of those. We'll see how it goes. So you're gonna wanna add enough water to make it saucy. I put about a bottle and a half in here, but like I said, I am doubling the recipe, but this is gonna be a lot thicker than pasta sauce so when it gets to a good consistency you don't want it really runny um, then you can start adding your seasonings and spices I'm gonna start off with about three teaspoons of the minced garlic and it says a teaspoon is equivalent to one clove of garlic I'm also gonna add some garlic powder too, um, just cause I like it. Then I'm just gonna put some basic salt and pepper in there. onion powder and the rest of my seasonings and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar to sweeten up the sauce This is what your sauce consistency should look like when you are all done. You can season this really however you like. Um, I did end up adding a little bit more water, probably about two of those bottles total. Like I said, I don't always make two lasagnas, so it's just kind of trial and error about how to get the sauce tasting a little bit good. I even added a bit more sugar. I put quite a bit of that parsley in there, probably half of the container. But like I said, just season it the way that you like and as you go. And I'm sure there's better ways to make the sauce, but that's just the way that I have always made the sauce. Um, then I get my pans out. I make my cheeseless one a little bit smaller because I'm the only one who eats it. And I put a little bit of sauce on the bottom of the pan to prevent the noodles from sticking. And then I layer three noodles each and then put a layer of sauce down and then I do a layer of cottage cheese on top of the sauce and then a layer of mozzarella and then I do that three times so there'll be three layers of noodles total and once they are all done I put them in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes and they are ready to go. Um, also on my cheeseless lasagna, I did uh, the noodles, the sauce, and then a layer of spinach. And then I repeated that three times over. So that is how uh, I make my lasagnas. <music> Now to get started on this delicious Valentine trifle. Oh my gosh, guys, I have got to tell you, this recipe was amazing and it was so easy, like unbelievably easy. You don't even really have to like bake anything. You just kind of put it together. So I'm starting out with some strawberries and raspberries 
and I'm going to rinse them all off and I'm going to slice my strawberries up. And the ingredients that you will need is two boxes of cheesecake pudding and some pink food coloring. And that is the key to make this so cute. I got the Wilton Rose Gel food coloring and it was absolutely amazing. I'll tell you a little bit more about my experience with that in a minute. You will need some milk for your pudding and for the cake, I just picked up angel food cake at Walmart. I got two of them and I got strawberries and raspberries. And I don't remember if I just mentioned Cool Whip, but yes, Cool Whip. So you're just gonna mix up your pudding and look how cute that pink is. Oh my gosh, so I dropped a little piece of the lid and got pink dye all over my hand. You literally just need a teeny tiny little droplet and it will turn it that pink. So I put a layer of the pudding down and then I topped it with the cake. Ooh, and I tried some and it was so good. And then I put the fruit on top of it. So the key is just layering, but this didn't turn out as cute as it could have. This was my first time making it. I think it's also my first time making a trifle. I got this adorable trifle bowl last fall and I haven't used it yet, so I was excited to use it. But our doorbell rang while I was making this and we had a guest. So I had to stop um, doing what I was doing and when I went back to it, I was, I don't know, in like a different headspace and I wasn't thinking straight, so I forgot to put the Cool Whip in. So the layering kind of got all messed up. Like if now that I've done it once, I would layer it different so that it looks cuter, but it doesn't matter how you layer it, it all tastes the same and it tastes amazing. So it wasn't as pretty, but it did turn out absolutely perfectly. I did add the Cool Whip and I just kept layering it until I got to the top and I put a layer of Cool Whip on the top and just added all the fruit on top to make it so pretty. After you are done with everything, you can put it in the fridge to chill for a little bit before serving, but honestly, we started digging into this right away, and the recipe did say to chill for two hours, but like I said, you guys, this is super easy and takes no time at all to make. As you can see, there was a lot of pink in there, and it kind of just like ran through. If I would have remembered the Cool Whip to start with, I think it would have turned out better, but... All in all, this is a definite recipe that I will be making again. I'm going to be honest, I think this is the favorite dessert that I've ever had. <laughs> and now that I've made it once, it's so easy to remember how to make. I don't even need a recipe anymore. So you could something you could totally make by memory. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed these recipes and I really hope you try this Valentine's Day trifle. If you do, let me know. Um, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not subscribed. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!